Hey y'all, today I'm making a spaghetti casserole. I already have a video on it, but it was made long ago, so I'm gonna update it. This is my mom's spaghetti casserole that she used to make every time we went camping on Friday night. So let's get to cooking. First thing you do is you brown your ground beef. And then after it's browned, we're gonna drain it. Okay, I just use a colander and I'm just gonna drain the grease out. I'm gonna put my pan back on the stove. I just let it drain in this colander and then I can just dump the grease out when I get ready. So I'm gonna put this meat back in the pan. So this recipe calls for a pound of ground beef and that was about a, almost two and a half pounds. So I'm gonna double the recipe and make two dishes and freeze one. That's what I usually do with all my meals. This recipe calls for onions and I don't really wanna cut up an onion today or go in my garden and get some. So I'm just gonna use this. I use this a lot and it calls for one medium onion. So I'm gonna put in enough for two. If you've got somebody in your family that don't like onions, um, this is a good way to sneak it in. It's minced dried onions. Have I got that on the right side? Nope. Minced dried onions. So the next thing is bell pepper, and I have these in my uh, freezer from my garden, and I just have them ch just a rough chop. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. And it calls for one fourth of a cup for the recipe. And like I say, I'm doubling it, so I'll put about half a cup. Put these back in the freezer for something else. So now it calls for a cup of tomatoes. Uh, I used to put like stewed tomatoes or diced tomatoes, and you can do that. I just don't like a chunky tomato in there, but I don't like the tomato sauce. So I got the crushed tomatoes and uh, the meat is, is uh, sauteing with the onions and the bell peppers, and I'm gonna add a, well, it calls for a cup, but I'm gonna add two cups for the, doubling the recipe. Second cup of crushed tomatoes, and like I say, you can use diced, you can use stewed, you can use a, the Italian, whatever you want, and I'm just gonna stir this together. Fourth cup of water, so I'm adding a half because I'm doubling it. I'll just stir this up. It calls for um, one quarter cup of uh, steak sauce, and y'all all know I don't really measure. I'm trying to for y'all, but so I'm gonna double that and make it about a half, maybe even a splash more or two. I'm using Worc Worcestershire. <laughs> I think some people call it the W sauce because I can't say it either. Uh, sometimes I use Dells. You can use A1, just any kind of steak sauce. I'm gonna add it in there. Sauce is smelling good. I'm putting a, a pan of water on. I guess I better move those out of the way. And um, for the noodles. not quite through with the um, sauce yet, but we will be in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and let the water be heating up for the noodles. The next thing we're gonna add is um, ketchup, and it calls for one cup of ketchup. I'm adding two, because I'm doubling it. Not meaning to confuse y'all, but I am gonna double it and freeze one. And then we are gonna let this simmer for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes. Looks good, don't, oh, you can't see it. I just poured the ketchup in and you can't see it. Well, but it looks good, looks really good. So stir it up really good, put the lid on it. Put the lid on it and let it simmer on low for 30 minutes. 
I'm sure y'all hear Sweet Hunter's blower. It's pretty loud, but I was just going to tell you that I really don't know. I think it says about four ounces of spaghetti. I really don't know what four ounces it is, but I'm just kind of guessing at it. There's some uh, And I break mine. You don't have to. The water is boiling. And um, I just kind of guess at it. And then when I put it in into the pan when I put the casseroles together, then I can tell, you know, uh, how it's going to work. I'm going to wash some dishes while all this is cooking, and um, I won't bore you with that, and uh, get things pulled together. Got my noodles boiling. That should be about done. And now we're going to add the secret ingredient. We're adding cream of mushroom soup. Now, if you can't eat mushrooms or you don't like them, which you really can't taste the mushrooms, then um, you can use cream of chicken soup or I make a cream of anything soup and it'll take on the taste of whatever you're cooking. Um, I don't think I've done a video on that. I need to do that. But one can of cream of mushroom soup and because I am doubling it, I'm adding two. This has been simmering for 30 minutes. And then I'm just gonna stir all this together. Get it well blended. And it's very hot, so it should just blend right in there. Now, at this point, you may want to uh, taste test it and see what you think about the sauce, if it needs salt or pepper. Now, the longer it sits and when it bakes with the noodles, uh, it will increase the salt. And that soup did have salt in it, you know, so now you can use the low sodium if you want to. Now we're just waiting on the noodles to get done. Noodles on the back eye where I could get this bread out and I'm gonna check it. It should be done. It looks good. Of course, it all looks good and you have to make sure it's done. I love the little loaves. I'm gonna let that cool just a minute. It's just been sitting in a hot oven just to make sure it got completely done. And then I'll let it cool and I'm gonna slice it off. Okay, y'all, it is time to get the pasta off and drain it. You do it just like you do any other spaghetti. I like to put it right back in the pan before it loses. Maybe I can get this over here too. I don't want it to lose all the water. What I have done is I found four smaller dishes. This is the one I'm going to use for tonight because it's a little bit bigger and there are four of us. And I'm going to try to make actually four um, casseroles out of this and then I'll share one with my guests to take home. I've got it stirred up where there's a, the mixture is all throughout. Everything should be blended good. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for all of you who watch our channel. Uh, it means a lot to us. If you haven't subscribed, we ask you to subscribe. We appreciate all the likes. We love the comments. I can't always respond to all of them, but I do love them and I do read them. Thank you. This dish is a great dish to freeze and take somewhere. And uh, I hope you like my mom's spaghetti casserole as much as we do. Hey, and y'all go check out our other videos. We have so many videos, and we started doing shorts, and they're lots of fun. Check them out. This is what we've got so far, if you can see them. We've got the big one for tonight. We've got these two. Now I'm just going to put cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Uh, I'm using sharp cheddar just because that's what I have. My oven is preheating to 350. I am
am not going to cook these two. I'm going to let them cool and I'm going to put them in the freezer. I'm going to get another bag of cheese out. But these two, I'll give one to my friend. They can put it in their freezer. And one in our freezer. This will work out great. This is a Cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And like I say, it doesn't matter if it's mozzarella, it's just whatever you like. We're gonna bake this at 350 for I believe about 30 minutes, let me see. Yeah, 30 minutes. So our supper's ready except for the baked potatoes and the um, pesto and I've got the salad already made. I made it last night. Looks pretty good. Supper's ready. Y'all go cook something.